K218b. A new chapter in the search for alien life as you gaze up into the vast, unending canvas of the night sky, watching the shimmering dance of billions of stars, a timeless question begins to echo in your mind. Are we truly alone in the universe? It's a question older than any book ever written, older than language itself. Older than the first sparks of human imagination, the first songs hummed beside flickering fires, the first stories whispered under starlit skies. A question that has followed humanity across millennia, whispering through the thoughts of philosophers, scientists, and dreamers alike. It has haunted every mind that dared to look beyond our small, fragile planet. And now, with the dawn of a new age in space exploration, we may finally be closer than ever to an answer. This leap forward comes in the form of a revolutionary tool, the James Webb Space Telescope, known simply as JWST. Launched into the darkness of space, JWST carries the hopes and curiosity of humanity with it. It is our most powerful eye on the universe, a telescope designed to peer deeper, clearer, and more precisely into the cosmos than any instrument before it. Webb acts like a cosmic magnifying glass, capturing light that has traveled for hundreds, even thousands of years across space. Light that left distant worlds long before human civilization existed. Light that carries whispers of planets, stars, and galaxies far beyond our imagination. Recently, JWST focused its attention on a mysterious, distant world, K218b, an exoplanet located in the constellation Leo, roughly 120 light-years from Earth. At first glance, it might appear to be just another faint dot in the cosmic ocean. A lonely planet orbiting a distant star, lost among billions of other worlds. But closer inspection revealed something extraordinary something that captured the attention of astronomers around the globe. K218b belongs to a category of exoplanets known as sub-Neptunes, larger than Earth, yet smaller than Neptune. A class of planet that doesn't exist anywhere in our solar system. This alone makes it an enigma. It defies our familiar templates, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn, none can serve as a reference. Sub-Neptunes are, in between, worlds. Not fully rocky. Not fully gaseous. Something entirely different. And with that difference comes mystery and immense potential. The earliest clues from JWST sparked genuine excitement across the scientific community. Why? Because K218b may have the potential for life. K218b orbits a red dwarf star named K218 at a distance of just 0.18 astronomical units, closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. Yet, unlike Mercury, it isn't a scorched wasteland. Red dwarfs are smaller, dimmer, and cooler than our Sun, allowing K218b to reside within the habitable zone, the so-called Goldilocks region, where conditions might be, just right, for liquid water to exist on the surface or beneath the clouds. And then came the discovery that electrified astronomers worldwide. JWST detected water vapor in K218b's atmosphere. Water, the very essence of life as we know it, hovering in the sky of a distant world. A signal that sparked imaginations, that whispered of possibilities we have long dreamed about. But water alone doesn't guarantee life. We know that life also depends on a delicate balance of chemicals, energy, and environmental conditions. That's where the story becomes truly extraordinary. Using cutting-edge spectroscopic tools, capable of breaking starlight into its component colors, JWST analyzed the atmosphere of K218b. It detected water vapor methane carbon dioxide molecules that exist naturally on many planets, including our own Earth. But then, it detected something that made scientists pause, dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, DMS is produced almost exclusively by living organisms, 
especially tiny oceanic microorganisms known as phytoplankton. It plays a vital role in the climate, helping form clouds and regulating temperatures. If confirmed on K218b, this would represent one of the strongest biosignature candidates ever detected beyond our solar system. K218b may not have green forests, sprawling continents, or intelligent civilizations, at least, not that we know of. But it may have the right conditions for microbial life, life that could survive in oceans beneath alien skies. And that alone is monumental. K218b is more than a discovery. It is a reminder that the universe is vast, unpredictable, and full of surprises. It is a promise that the search for life is far from over. And so, we pause here. Because the next part of this journey takes high sea in worlds, redefining the search for life. Welcome back, we uncovered how K218b stunned scientists. With hints of water, methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly even DMS. We saw how a planet hundreds of light years away could reveal conditions that might support life. But to understand why K218b is such a groundbreaking discovery, we need to explore a radical new concept, a planetary type that challenges everything we thought we knew, the Hycean world. What exactly is a Hycean planet? In 2021, astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan introduced a revolutionary idea. Worlds dominated by vast oceans and shrouded beneath thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres. He called them Hycean planets, a name blending hydrogen and ocean. These planets are not like anything in our solar system. They can be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and twice its radius, yet they are not massive balls of gas like Jupiter or Saturn. Instead, they are worlds with deep, global oceans covered by dense hydrogen atmospheres. Oceans so vast, they could make up up to 90% of the planet's mass. The hydrogen atmosphere acts as a thermal blanket, trapping heat and allowing liquid water to exist even at orbital distances where Earth-like planets would be frozen solid. In short, Hycean planets are extreme, but their conditions may still support life. Life unlike anything on Earth, yet life nonetheless. And yes, K218b is currently the strongest known candidate for a Hycean world. The Hycean advantage why are Hycean planets so exciting to scientists? The search for life is incredibly challenging. Most Earth-like planets are small, dim, and extremely difficult to study from light years away. Hycean worlds, however, offer a unique advantage. 1. Larger size equals easier to detect. Their massive size makes them visible to our telescopes, even from hundreds of light years away. 2. Extended habitable zones. Because of their hydrogen atmospheres, they can maintain liquid water over a wider range of distances from their star. They can survive closer to hotter stars, or farther from cooler stars, without freezing or overheating. 3. Life could exist in extreme conditions. Temperatures as high as 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit, could still support microbial life in deep oceans beneath the thick hydrogen atmosphere. Life in these conditions would be radically different from anything on Earth. It could resemble extremophiles, organisms that thrive in hydrothermal vents, acidic lakes, or the crushing pressure of the deep ocean. It would be alien life, yes, but life nonetheless. What JWST saw on K218b The James Webb Space Telescope used transit spectroscopy to study K218b. This technique measures the tiny changes in starlight as the planet passes in front of its star. As the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere, JWST can identify which molecules absorb which wavelengths, effectively reading the chemical fingerprints of the planet's air. From just five hours of observation, split across two transits, Webb detected, water vapor methane carbon dioxide tentative DMS each molecule tells part of the story, but together they paint something far more profound. A planet with conditions that might support life, 
a world with chemistry that hints at biology. The implications of K218BK218B is more than a discovery. It challenges our assumptions about what makes a planet habitable. It reminds us that life might exist under conditions that would be extreme, even deadly, on Earth. If Hycean worlds like K218b are common, which early studies suggest they might be, then the odds of life elsewhere in the universe may be far higher than we ever imagined. We may have been searching for life in the wrong places, looking only for Earth-like conditions, when the universe may be full of worlds radically different, yet just as capable of supporting life. The next steps as thrilling as these findings are, scientists urge caution. The presence of DMS must be confirmed through additional observations. The dynamics of K218b's atmosphere need to be studied in detail. Future telescopes and missions will help us understand these distant worlds better. But one thing is certain, K218b has already rewritten the rulebook. It has shown us that habitable conditions may exist on planets very different from Earth, and that the universe may be far more diverse, strange, and rich in possibilities than we ever imagined. Closing message The discovery of K218b is a reminder of why we look up at the stars. To explore. To question. To dream. If you enjoyed this journey into K218b and the emerging study of Hycean worlds, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic explorations. Tell us in the comments, what do you think we will discover next in the universe? Thanks for watching. And remember, the universe is waiting.